My family's been farming here 80 years, and uh, I've been on the farm nearly 15. On a normal morning, we're usually up at 5.30, and there's usually three of us on at once in the mornings, and we're uh, changing feed over, changing bedding over, or milking through the shed. Goats have got plenty of personality. Um, yeah, they can drive you a bit nuts, but uh, they're pretty good at destroying things. <laughs> There's one that should always be out of the pens. She followed uh, my wife and daughter down the back of the farm and ate some willow trees, so she's called Willow. She still gets out. <laughs> The ability for us to test uh, individual goats on any day is a great help in um, maintaining that milk quality. Yeah, we have a small lab where we do milk samples and just monitor the milk quality and, and individual goats' um, milk. I grew up five kilometres down the road from where we currently are. My, um, my parents have been supplying the dairy goat co-op for must be 25 years now. It is almost an extended family. It's a way to have a sustainable future in farming. As long as we're passing this on in a better state than what we uh, found it, then I'll be happy. I'd like to be a successful farmer and get the most out of the goats as well as providing as, be as better um, you know, environment for them as possible. We provide them with plenty of space as, as, as we can and um, Keep the bedding nice and clean, and uh, and yeah, uh, feed them as much as they want. Really, um, they're pretty, pretty pampered animals. They uh, they get anything and everything they uh, they desire. Really, it's a pretty good life as a goat, I think. <laughs> it's uh, important to produce a quality product. I guess we're um, you know making a difference with um, babies around the world, and and that weighs heavy on our mind, I guess. And uh, so yeah, we're just trying to produce the best quality milk we can.